Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you which are the important listing statuses and when to use them. First, log in into your Next Ones account and go straight to the listing section which is located on the top left hand side of the page. Now, if you need to add a new listing file before it's added by the board feed, you may click on the green button Add again in the left side of the page. This will allow you to add your listing file before it is added by the board feed. So first, you'll see that by default, the status that is selected is the active status. Of course, if you're creating a kit from web forms, when it will come in into your next one account, it will still be at the kit status. Now, this is fine if you need to add documents and send them by electronic signature. But you want to make sure that once your documents are signed and that your MLS input is done, then you change it to the pending status and you come in your file to add the MLS number. Because remember, your office does not have access to kit files. So it's important that you change the status to let them know that there's a new listing that's incoming and to add the MLS number in the file as soon as you have it because that's the only way the board field will recognize which listing it needs to update. So this brings me to the pending status. Usually when you want to add a new listing file before the board feed creates it, I suggest to use the pending status. That way there's very few information that you need to enter and you'll already let your office know that a new listing is incoming. I still suggest you to enter at least part of the address so that you can easily recognize the file that you're working on. So let's put it here. I'm putting some of my listings information and then I can straight go to my note tab and click save. What's important is that once my documents are ready, I do my data input and then I need to go back to my listing files. Click on my listing address. Click on edit at the top right hand side of the page and come back into my file to add my MLS number as soon as I have it. Remember that the MLS number is the only way for the system to recognize which listing file it needs to update. What will happen as soon as we receive your board feed, it will update your listing file with the rest of the missing information. Which means it will also change the status to active. Typically, the only statuses that you'll need to uh, modify for the listings will be to canceled. So usually um, from most boards, we don't receive the cancel status. So if your listing needs to be canceled, you will need to set it up to cancel manually. But all of the other statuses will be automatically updated by the board feed. That is all for today. Thank you.